that well-notched steel and impressive physique. I have need of a sword for hire, and yours looks to be a weapon well worth the coin. Might you be convinced to offer me the use of those formidable arms? How exactly do you intend to use them? Well, being something of a scholar of Zemeckian history, I wish to investigate the ruins near the city, and I require a rugged companion, lest I find myself waylaid by ne'er-do-wells or the beasts said to roam the area. Should you accept, you will not only earn yourself material wealth, but partake of the true treasure that awaits us there, the rich and storied history of Zemeckis. Well, were you ever party to a finer proposition? My arms are yours. Wonderful! Then come, we must away. But where are we going? Along the old Zemeckis Road, and from there, onward to discovery. Quickly, there is not a moment to lose. Wait. <sighs> Good luck with your ne'er-do-wells. I'd better make sure he doesn't get himself killed. Water for hire! That's that then. <laughs> there are no crystals here. not, good sir. Thanks to your timely intervention. More importantly, we have arrived. Now, feast your eyes upon the marvel before us. Ruins, a relic of the fallen civilization. A sight so common that man is oft blinded to its wonder. Colossal vessels, dashed from the very heavens. Airships, we call them with very little thought to what wonders such a word might describe. Oblige me, if you would. Does anything strike you as peculiar about this particular specimen? Though we ourselves find fallen ruins to be nigh indestructible, whatever gouged the final sin from the rock cleaved clean through the structure you see before you. A tantalizing mystery, no doubt, but merely one of countless enigmas in which Zemeckian history is steeped. Come, good sir. Our expedition continues, and we still have much to learn. <sighs> He's passionate. I'll give him that.
enough. You're going to get yourself killed. Oh, that would not do. That would not do at all. Not when such majesty stretches out before us. Behold, a final sin in all its glory. As Moss tells us, a battle was fought here in ancient times. A battle of such ferocity that it tore a great crater in the very land upon which it was waged. In reaching for their holy sanctum did man enrage the gods. And great was the vengeance that was rained down upon him. Alas, the full truth of the matter is lost to time, though I live in hope that I might see it discovered. But we must not dwell upon such things. There is more yet to see. Onward, history awaits. Still in one piece? It would seem so. Once more, I am in your debt. And once more, you impress me with your prowess. These were no ordinary foes, but ones we in the field call Echoes. Though Moss the Chronicler concurs with the legends in attributing the fall of Zemeckis to a wrath wrought upon mankind by the gods, he offers little in the way of explanation. Could the ruins we see before us here, in all their elaborate beauty, perhaps suggest an answer? Could the construction of such miraculous edifices have been considered 
an encroachment upon the province of the divine? Alas, all is mere speculation. But one day, perhaps, I will learn the truth. Not if you keep running headfirst into trouble. You are right, of course. And not only have you plucked me repeatedly from the jaws of death, you have proven yourself a willing audience to my ramblings. Glad to help, but... Didn't you say you came here to investigate something? I fear I may have rather overstated the case on that front. In truth, a captive ear was all I really desired. You see, even my fellow scholars have grown somewhat weary of my musings of late. And so I came upon the idea of purchasing a companion. A captive audience, if you will. That's what this was all about. I am afraid so. And now, my good man, it is high time we returned whence we came. Fine. Just don't go running off this time. And so ends a delightful day. Here, your reward for humoring my selfish whims, plus a little extra for the trouble I have put you to. <laughs>